Hello. Um, this is five minute dental biomaterial syrup. Uh, we are going to talk about several concepts. Today, we talk about the radical polymerization. And firstly, we talk about what called a radical or free radical. Think about the atoms. So, atom in the nucleus, there is always positive. Okay. And then there's a few electrons. The orbit in different orbits. We can think about different energy level. So inner level we have two and outer we have more. So the the positive in proton in the nucleus should be equal to the number of electrons. So the whole atom is neutral. For example, we see carbon and totally they have uh, two inner electrons and four outer electrons. So total six, inside is six, so six proton. So positive and negative, they are equal. So that's a stable carbon atom. When it found to the any kinds of covalent bonds, there is two electrons, for example, carbon carbon single bonds. In one single bond, we draw a dash, actually there is a two electron. So sometimes you can just write down that. However, where is the other electrons? So carbon still have more other electrons. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is the electrons. Inner electron doesn't interfere in any chemical reaction, so we don't care about that. If form like um, like ethane, so there will be hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, so all this is saturated. So every bond, every single bond, is contain two electrons. Okay, so when this one is broken, it can form several different things. So carbon, electron, electron, those two electrons shared by these two carbons. When the break, it can be break here, can be break here, can be break here. In that case, we can see different type of species. The one we are talking about is breaking right here in the middle. So each one you have carbon, carbon here. This electron is we call unpaired electron. And the terminology is free radical. Free radical is not positive or negative charge, so it's neutral. So it's neutral, okay? And free radical is very, very active. When it interacts with other molecules, it may in infer some reactions. Which element can form free radical? When we look at here, something like a carbon, Nitrogen, all these those area may form free radical. Like here, sodium, magnesium, can they form free radical? Very rarely, because those elements, their outer layer, they don't have. If they have unpaired one, it's very easy to lose, and it won't be stable. And won't be stable enough to form any chemical reaction. So interesting, very interesting in our Earth, uh, we have the, this carbon, and carbon form a lot of uh, interesting stuff because uh, it can form relatively stable free radical. All the organic chemistry uh, and the biological stuff, like DNA, RNA, and proteins, why it can form large molecular polymer is because the free radical, because the relatively stable free radical. When we look at the polymerization of free radical, so first thing you can see here, when it's break here, these two free radical, we normally put a star, there is an electron neutral. So this is not positive or negative. And here you can see the break 
into negative, positive, or positive, negative. This become ions. And here is the radical. This radical is very, very reactive. So when it have get approximate to another carbon-carbon double bonds, like here, remember double bonds is there are four electrons. Okay. The detailed structure we don't wish to to explain here. That is the pi bond. So this bond is not very stable. So it's easily to form another like a free radical here and here. And the two free radicals we join together. So we see like this, R, C, and plus this we form a free radical. And these two join together from a, one of the bond. And this bond we have two electrons and no charge. So it's like that. And the elect you can see there will be a single electron over here. And this one will be another side of a free radical. And the propagation will start when they have another double bond, double bond, and it just come in. So it's add on and on. That's why we call it addition polymerization. Okay. So the repeating unit for the polymer free radical polymerization, you can see they have all those units. Originally, all those are double bond. Yeah. This is double bond, those should be double bonds. So that was the original monomer. In dental monomer, dental materials, there are a whole lots of different type of monomer. Normally we use is the methacrylate based. Methacrylate has a unique structure is from this. And then they have a carboxy group over here. And you can see all this group is GMA, UDMA, they all have a similar structure over here. So those are methacrylate. And these are dimethyl because they have a two functional group. Functional group is that we call a double bounce because they can be reactive as we call a functional group. So that is how the free radical start and generate.